Joined now by Kilmallock coach Fintan O'Connor. Fintan, it's a strange one in a sense coming in to a team that's county champions, but how have you found things so far? Ah, look, I, I've really enjoyed it so far, I suppose. Um, probably late coming in um, there, probably was late April, early May, but look, I suppose the lads were probably entitled to a few weeks off as well. So, um, yeah, look, it's, it's nice to be um, to be asked into such a team that has have enjoyed so much success. And look, I'm really looking forward to it to getting getting into the tick of it now this weekend you know yeah because speaking of this weekend it's a repeat of the 2021 bond secures hospital limerick senior early championship final you know patrick's well gunning for revenge but from your point of view you're coming in with, with absolutely no baggage whatsoever into this game yeah that's it 100 percent. and i suppose look um a lot of water has gone under the bridge since since the county final and um in fairness the limerick lads are just kind of coming back in and, and, and getting kind of um getting used to playing with their, their friends again i suppose so look it's it's um it's a funny time of year you're only kind of reintegrating all the all the limerick boys after the success they had and and they they had a couple of days off last week which they're more than entitled to so look we're delighted to have them all back and um i suppose from my own personal point of view i'm only nearly getting to know them in the last last week or so so look um we're, we're as i said to you, just looking forward to getting started at the weekend that challenge of Patrick's well, just to speak on them for a second, you know, a, a famed Limerick club with so many county titles on top of it, it's a huge challenge first up as well. Yeah, massive, massive game, I suppose. And and look, I suppose that's they're the kind of games you want to be involved in. Um Patrick's well have good good players all over the pitch, so we can't um we, we can't take for granted that I know they're missing a couple of bodies and we're the same, but um I think both teams will be really looking forward to getting a competitive match after putting down maybe four or five months without uh, real meaningful games, you know. From your own point of view, you're coming in as coach to a team in Limerick, from, you know, that, that is again a, a fine team that has had so much success over the years. But you, you, you've you got a few good fellas with you from the club as well. Um, yeah, look, Owen Ryan, I know him from, from being involved in the school's GA there and... Um, he has a couple of mutual friends from from Kerry that I know, so I would have known Owen previously. And um, Paul Tobin's a very good good fella. Um, after getting to know him over the co- last couple of months, and there's re- some really really good club men in Kilmallock there that are are always willing to to help me out. So um, yeah, look, it's just a real well rounded club, and it's nice to be part of it. Um, and as, as you said, it's nice to have some club stalwarts helping you out. You know. You're going into the Kilmallock themselves going into the championship as holders. You know, the, the, the only way really things can go this year for your point of view, surely looking to do the same thing again? Um, yeah, of course. But look, I'm sure Napier, St. Patrick, well, Dune, just to mention, like, I know the group we're in, I was looking at the fixtures when they came out and I was, um, I suppose, when I came on board and I was like, well, it's some it's some start, I suppose, and um, Patrick, well, and Napier, in the first two games. And, um, Look, it's they're the games you want to be involved in, as I said, and as as you said, I suppose every team will want to want to win it, and Kilmallock could be no different. Um, I suppose they, they're they're a real proud proud side, and they were they're worthy champions last year, and again they'll be looking to to try and try and win back the the county championship. But it's it's look, nothing will be taken for granted by anyone either, you know. You mentioned that second game against the Beershig. Obviously, you won't be looking into that, but you have a long break after after that game. No, there was a lot, a lot of league games played earlier in the year as well. But how will you manage that break? Do you think? Um, well, to be honest, I suppose to be honest with you, it'll probably give us a little opportunity to give maybe lads a few days off. Where um, I suppose some of the Limerick lads probably haven't had a an opportunity to go on holidays or do something with wives, girlfriends, families. So they might take one of them weeks for that. And um, I know um, we'd be hoping then to do a real good training block for a couple of them weeks because. I suppose it'll be the first real opportunity to work together as a as a group that I've had with the team. So um look, I'm looking forward to getting my teeth into that and um maybe get a, a couple of good games that we have everyone available for, which will be the first time, you know, this year that we'd have that. So look, um it it'll be a three week break, but it'll be a three week of I suppose a week's holidays for everyone and maybe then two weeks of a real, real good knuckle down and, and working towards game three and four, you know. Game three, four and five, I think are are straight away then in September, so um, it'll be a real like there'll be no <laughs> there'll be no messing around when that starts, you know. 
Just looking ahead to Saturday again against Patrick's Well. How have preparations gone for you? you mentioned Limerick, reintegrating the Limerick lads, I suppose. Have things been smooth or has there been a few bumps in the road? No, look, in fairness, um, we've been fairly... Um, look, it's good to have the likes of Owen and, and Paul who've been involved before and I suppose who are, are used to maybe dealing with what happens when the lads come back in. And I suppose every club is the same. Um, perhaps we'll have we know the, the lads they have as well so they're it's no it's no different for anyone and um it, look anything we ask the boys to do um as i said we are we are very aware of the fact that they deserve their their celebrations and they put their lives on hold for so long for for the limerick cause that they deserved our week of celebrations last week and, and um they're all entitled to that and and in fairness everyone Kilmallock was so proud the Kilmallock lads are involved and i suppose the same with the patrick's well club and the patrick's well lads are involved Everyone is nearly celebrating with them for the weekend, and then um, we got down to a bit of training this weekend. And look, we'll we'll take the match as it is. It's a it's a first round group game. Both teams will be a hundred ten percent want to win, but you want to try and get off to a good start. And and look, um, there won't be anything left on left behind on Saturday night, you know.